If you don't know me, my name is Taranjit Singh Rai and yes, I'm an award-winning scientist, lecturer, teacher, football coach. What I'm not is a financial advisor. These videos are totally for entertainment purposes only and also if you're from UK, I'm sorry, these videos are not for you. If you're not from UK, continue on. Do follow me on Twitter at the rate eat healthy get r1 and be very very careful because there are tons and tons of scammers as my channel is growing you can see there are small spelling mistakes here in these scammers i will never dm you i will never ask for money i will never ever suddenly need money quick look at the markets here again uh, sideways uh, chop action we are in a position where bitcoin neither wants to go up or wants to go down i think mental football is being played by both BlackRock and Fidelity. You can clearly see on the days on which BlackRock buys, Fidelity doesn't. On the days on which Fidelity buys, BlackRock doesn't. And I think they have slowed the buys now. First of all, it's natural course. There was a ton of demand. It is gonna plateau off. But I also think they are sitting on the cash in expectation. Maybe the price might go down slightly and then they will buy. For them, it doesn't really matter. They're not here for one or two X. However, leave this aside. Today's topic is very, very different. I'm gonna give you deep, dive on NIM Network. Now, NIM Network is a project that we got massive airdrop. So we were staking Dimension. Many of my community members were staking Dimension and we got really decent amount of uh, NIM airdrop. Now, if you airdrop to me, I will shell you to Valhalla. If you air don't airdrop to me, absolutely fine. No issues whatsoever. However, if you promise to airdrop to me and not airdrop, to me i will fund you to Valhalla. for example uh we did a fuck a whale <laughs> campaign thirty three thousand uh impressions crazy i did a giveaway as well anyhow nim network gave us a juicy airdrop so here we go let's review it so what is nim network nim network is a highly adoptable ai gaming chain think about the picks and shovels so during the gold rush people who sold picks and shovels made massive amount of money similarly NIM Network is a picks and shovels for the gaming infrastructure in context of AI gaming. Many, many games in future will be played by AI agents. So I think that's where the innovation is. So it will provide an ultimate ecosystem for exploration and development of games. And the key thing here highlighted in red is it's, it's at the intersection of Web3 and AI. We have moved from Web1, Web2, Web3. And now I think with AI taking center stage of everything, a roll of AI in gaming, role of AI in automated agents is gonna become very, very important. So what NIM does, it utilizes AI to build immersive walls. Think about these movies, Avatar, that mesmerize you. NIM Network will build such immersive walls for the gaming sector. Uh, there will be dynamic characters and engaging dialogues as well. So what they are doing, they are farming this AI gaming uh, coalition, partnering with leading games, and I'm gonna touch on some of those games, they're gonna marry it to crypto and also AI technology. And ultimately, it will create a perfect blend of AI tech and best games with ever evolving gaming chain. If you think the legacy gaming projects have any chance against projects like this, think again. So examples of uh, some of the games that are collaborating with NIM Network are Cartridge, Citadel, Metafight, Materium, I don't know, I'm not a gamer, but I what I did was I went on to their I went on to their websites and just scanned around and looks pretty good. So that's cartridge here. Again, build ship, explore autonomous walls. Uh, Citadel here, they say they have recently raised 3.3 million. I have no clue about these games, guys. I'm not a gamer, but I'm a profit maxi. And whenever I see profit, I jump into those picks. And those picks are available to all my private community. Link to join that Discord will be in the description. So there's uh, one called Metafight. Again, pretty, pretty, looks pretty good. Ethereum, and there is this uh, Minters Vault Battle for the Blockchain. Again, these are all gaming projects collaborating with NIM Network. Many of them don't have tokens. So that means if you stake NIM, you will get future airdrops of these projects. Okay, next is, what about the NIM token? NIM will be a self-sustaining and evolving ecosystem which will be powered by the NIM token. Basically, whenever a new project will join the NIM network, they need to use the NIM token. And actually, this is how the value will accrue to the NIM stakers and NIM holders. And again, all this value will be accrued into the ecosystem 
Okay, so the next one is tokenomics. I really struggled with this one because I think even the mods on the NIM Discord, they really don't know the answer. So I just did a rough calculation. They are dropping 90 million as a airdrop. And if that is 9%, so that means 1 billion total supply. Uh, initial circulating market cap will be uh, 90 million. I don't know whether it will be staked, but it is based on the Cosmos SDK and it is kind of dimension der derivative. So I'm thinking they will be able to stake. How much is the inflation? I don't know. I asked in the Discord. They did not tell me. The founders didn't reply, which is okay. Uh, it's a big project. I don't mind. Another big issue here is the Dimension uh, VCs were able to stake Dimension. They are printing staking rewards and they are selling staking rewards. Plenty of on-chain uh, evidence for that. Same exact rule for Tia. Okay, Tia didn't care. Tia performed amazing, but I think this is basically taking a Mickey. If you are under cliff, you shouldn't be able to do this. This is my personal view, okay? Similarly, Saga, <laughs> you just look at the top stakers. Saga initial circulating supply was supposed to be 90 million as well. 732 million is staked. They are selling daily staking awards. It's, it's inflating, it's crazy. However, let's come back to the topic here. So I don't know whether the VCs here will be able to stake. If they will be able to stake, there will be very, very significant sell pressure. Uh, my strategy here is I'm not going to sell on day one. I'm going to see what happens. So I'm going to sell 25%. I'm going to stake 25% and I'm going to keep 50% liquid. There is no right. There is no wrong. You can do whatever feels like. TI sold very early. Dimension, I did not sell at all and I now regret. So you cannot win. You cannot win in this game. No one knows. Just whatever decision you take, just stay uh, comfortable. Uh, finally, who's behind a NIM network? Again, I could not find how much uh, they have raised in millions, but you can imagine that if, if Delphi are behind this token, Big Brain Holdings are behind uh, this token, I'm pretty sure they have raised significant chunk of the money. And based upon this hypothetical numbers, I will leave you with a price prediction as well. So Twitter is the place where you should catch me. That's where I tweet often. I'm only your weekend YouTuber. I don't care about a YouTube algorithm. I really don't care. I have a very small community and I'm happy and they are happy. No one leaves once they enter. So that makes me very, very happy. So let's do the price prediction. So very little data, very little information on total raised. 90 million means basically if it hits $1, then it means 1 billion total FDV and 90 million initial circulating supply for a project like this, for what they are promising, for the tech like this. With all that uh, in, in background, uh, two is possible, dollar two, and that will make the initial circulating market cap to be around 200 million. Again, I think for the project of this standard, I don't think that is fair. Yeah, so I think if it lists, in good exchanges you can expect anywhere between five to dollar six and if ai narrative gaming narrative takes hold then even ten dollars are very very possible depends on listing and depends upon uh, again how much they have raised and finally if the vcs are allowed to stake and dump on you that's i hope i really hope they're not allowed to because i think it's just taking a mickey as i said uh, cliff should mean cliff. I work for several projects. My tokens are always on the cliff. I'm never ever being uh, in, in good projects. I'm not allowed to stake them. Okay. So fingers crossed for that. These are airdrops. You shouldn't really complain. Free money if the VCs are s selling it. So the other side of the coin is the money is for you for free. Don't don't shout. Don't don't make noise. Just sell it. Move on. Find the next one. There are at least 90 to 100 projects we are farming in our private discord so i'll see you there now those are my thoughts folks but i want to know what are your thoughts what research you have done on nim and how high you think nim can go in price do tell me in comments that's all i have to say for today and i'll see you in the next video